Hi, my name is Zakyron, and welcome to my video and podcast, which is the second video in my Heroes Journey series entitled Success and Business is a Hero's Journey, where I talk about the fact that anyone who pursues a dream, whether that is an artistic dream, a business dream, athletic dream, etc., it doesn't matter what your dream or desire is. If you have a dream and you are moving toward it, and you are actively creating it into physical reality, that is when you will be the happiest and the most fulfilled, even if you have not achieved your dreams yet. And whatever your dream is, whatever you wish to succeed at, in order to achieve it, you must become a hero. And a hero is nothing more than someone who is afraid, but does it anyway. The hero does whatever it takes to achieve their vision, The hero cares not what anyone else thinks about their dream. The hero is relentless and will never give up and will never surrender. And this is how you must be if you wish to make your dreams come true. There's a saying that goes, A coward dies a thousand deaths. A hero, only one. So this is how you must be if you wish to make your dreams come true. There is no quick fix. Get rich quick or succeed quick secrets that you can use to cheat your way to the top. That's why. That's not why you are here on earth. You don't need uh, a shortcut so that you can get what you want quicker than the next guy because you're not here to prove your worth to others with your success. You're not here for shortcuts. You're here for the never-ending adventure of creation. And when you are a conscious, active, deliberate creator, actively creating your dreams into physical reality, that is the juice of life. That is when you will be having a charmed, happy, healthy, abundant, wealthy, and magical life. And the magic is not the one ultimate goal or the one magical ball with your ruby slippers. The magic is not in having the wealth and the cars and the jewels and the houses and the money and the boats and the success, etc. The magic is the journey on the yellow brick road where you develop your mind and your heart and your clarity and your awareness and your courage and your mastery. And you realize that you have always been home and Toto and Auntie Yam and your uncles are all around you always supporting you and rooting for you and having your back. That is the hero's journey. So enjoy my video and podcast, the second video on my hero's journey series entitled Success and Business is a Hero's Journey. Hi, my name is Zakyron and I help success-minded people create the abundant lifestyle you love. I help success-minded entrepreneurs achieve a success mindset to propel your life and your business to unlimited heights of success. In my videos, articles, books, podcasts available on my website at zakyron.com, I reveal the master keys of success, business, money, leadership, relationship, and the law of attraction so that you can create and attract to yourself the happiness, health, wealth, and abundance, and freedom that you desire. I would like to offer you uh, a free copy of my book, video, and audio series, The Top 10 Secrets of Success and the Law of Attraction, to easily and quickly create and attract your dreams and desires into your physical reality by going to top10secrets.info. All right, here we go. The Hero's Journey, Part 2, Success and Business is a Hero's Journey. Whatever your dream in life is, if you are in active pursuit of that dream, you are a hero. Because to achieve that dream requires that you become a hero, a champion. It requires having courage to do things that the average person only dreams of achieving and will usually find inconvenient or too hard, etc., Being a success at anything requires great courage and most of all, Belief in yourself it requires that you develop a belief that you can and will make your dreams come true. For some people, the dream of success is in the arts, music, dance, film, or sports, or science, etc., whereas some of it, so for some people, it's business. But whatever anyone wishes to succeed at or whatever wish, whatever you wish to succeed at, the ultimate goal is just to feel good. 
Because as creators, we are most happy and fulfilled when we are in pursuit of a dream. The greatest satisfaction in life is having an intention and moving towards it. It doesn't matter what it is, whether it's a relationship, having children, a job, being creative, wealth, business, travel, art, career, etc. It doesn't matter what it is. If you have a dream and you are moving towards that dream, you will be the happiest because the quest is the most important thing, not the destination, not the result, not the goodies. The quest of creation, the pursuit of achievement is the greatest satisfaction in life because we are creators here to manifest our dreams into physical reality. And anyone who pursues their dreams, even if they don't achieve their dreams yet or ever, are they are heroes because the quest is why we are here. The adventure is why you have dreams. Once you have the dream, it is Nice, of course, and there is pride in having the result you have been working towards achieving. But it is not having what you want that brings ultimate satisfaction. It is the person you must be and become in order to achieve your dream. That is why success in and business is a hero's journey, regardless of whether, whatever you want to succeed at. Anyone who is in business for themselves is a hero in my book because I know what kind of intestinal fortitude it takes to succeed at your own business and achieve the freedom that every business person desires. First of all, you must be a leader because you are, first of all, leading yourself. And as your business grows, you then become a leader to your employees your business partners even, and you must be a self-motivator. Most people are motivated to get up and go to work more by what they don't want to lose, their fear of losing their job, rather than what they could gain. The only reason they go to work is fear of being fired. And most people do the least amount of work possible to just maintain their jobs and keep from getting fired. Of course, there are very motivated people in the workplace who are very passionate about what they do, and they enjoy their jobs, but I think that potentially they are in the minority. Those people are also heroes because they are passionate to achieve success. But it is an, an, an entire other level of drive that is required of someone who can only be fired by themselves. Because you are going to work not to keep from being fired and not uh, so you won't lose your paycheck, but instead you're going to work to achieve your dreams. So business people are absolute dreamers, people who want more out of life than the 9 to 5 grind. They're not content with working 40 to 80 hours per week helping someone else achieve their dreams of freedom. They want that freedom for themselves. And the dream of success and freedom is the driving force behind them. Recently, I learned a very profound insight from my mentor, Matt Morris, who said that the biggest mistake that new business people make is they don't treat their business like a job. In other words, having your own business gives you freedom to decide that you're not going to work today, a choice that someone with a job does not have. But instead of treating your business like uh, your business like a business, it is much more beneficial to you, especially in the early stages, uh, to your success to treat your business like a job. And if you don't feel like working today, you get up and go to work anyway. Because if you don't, you'll get fired by yourself. In other words, would you hire yourself as an employee? If you kept blowing off work day in and day out, would you fire yourself? Well, of course you would. If your the labor, the work, etc. depended on your success. There's a great statement inside business training that says if you treat your business like a hobby, you'll get paid like a hobby. But if you tr- treat your business like a business, you'll get paid like a business. 
But billionaire business success and network marketing trainer Matt Morris says treat your business like a job and you will succeed beyond your wildest dreams because he understands that in order for a person to succeed at business requires that you work your business day in and day out like a job. That means you go to work every single day no matter what. And if you don't, you will get fired. And that is what happens to most people in business. They essentially fire themselves by not working smart enough and long enough and hard enough. And by being casual about their business and success and sort of being drunk on the new freedom that they've got, they sabotage their success and fail by not doing the daily success habits that help you achieve success that you can read about in the classic books like The Slight Edge, A Compound Effect, uh, daily success habits, etc. They have a dream of having freedom in their lives and having their own business gives you some degree of freedom, especially if you have some success. But if you don't have that success yet in this early stage of your business, uh, <clears throat> you you don't have the luxury of deciding today if you're going to work or not. You're not the millionaire yet. You don't have the team yet. You don't have the confidence yet. You don't have the notoriety yet that ca that causes thousands to follow your great, inspiring leadership. And a team that you are building, if they're not showing up to work, if they're not, sh uh, you know, if they're not showing up to work to work on their business every day, it is your duty as the CEO of your own multi-million-dollar potential business to fire their lazy asses. Understand that those people are fine for the proverbial mailroom, but they are never going to be upper management because they are not treating their business like a job. Matt Morris is a billionaire in my network marketing company and gets paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to speak at business and success seminars because he treats his business like a job. And he, and he gives all of his attention to the leaders of his business that also treat their businesses like a job. If they're not producing, if their business isn't growing, then he knows they're slacking off. So they get less or none of his attention. It is the same thing you would do as a leader of a classical brick-and-mortar business with employees and upper management. The people that are making you more money than others are the people who get more of your attention and your mentorship uh, for their success because they're helping you succeed. They're the ones who get promoted and they're the ones who get the extra bonuses. Network marketing ultimately is no different from a classical style of business. The only difference is all of the team members are working for themselves. So you can't fire them. And where most driven business builders go wrong is that they give too much attention to the chickens instead of focusing mostly or all of their attention upon the eagles. They try to motivate and inspire the chickens to become eagles, but the chickens will never become eagles. No matter how much you try to get them to fly, they will. They never will. And the in the immortal words of Mad Morris, when you try to get chickens to fly, you just get chicken shit all over you. The key with happiness, success, and business is to ask yourself, what do you want? Your end goal is freedom. You want financial freedom and time freedom. You want to be able to do whatever you want, whenever you want, but you're not there yet. So you don't have the luxury of slacking off even for a day because the dream is calling you. So what do you want? Your end goal again is freedom. So how do you get it? For me and my business, it's having a big enough team of driven leaders who have the same dreams as me to travel the world wherever and whenever we want and to have the financial freedom to do whatever we want, to create whatever occurs to me and to us to create, to empower other people, to help other people achieve their dreams of freedom and travel, etc. So I need leaders who are driven for success and freedom. So what do you need for your business success? What do you want? And what do you need to achieve? And how, do, how, how are you going to achieve it? 
Now, my desire to help people succeed is a driving force of my business, and it is also a driving force of my success, but it has also been a driving force of struggle because I have attracted needy people who desperately needed my help, but who couldn't help themselves. And instead of treating their businesses like a job that they could be fired from, they treated it like some fairy sparkle magic wonder wand that was supposed to somehow magically make their business succeed by doing diddly freaking squat. But unfortunately, just paying some money and joining a business opportunity just does absolutely nothing if you don't get off your lazy ass and do something. And the key ingredient that separates the zeros from the heroes is how big their dream is and how bad or even better how good they want to achieve it for me the status quo is never my thing i've always been relatively unemployable because i was always smarter than the people i was working for so naturally i've always leaned towards self-employment and having my own businesses my desire for freedom has always been my primary motivation in life even my predilection towards spiritual teachings was also with this motivation in mind to be self-empowered to be self-independent and i know that all anyone wants is to be happy and free to be themselves to do what they want when they want and what separates the zeros from the heroes again is how big is your dream how big is your desire to live a life of joy and freedom how big is your desire to please yourself compared to your desire to please others because being trained to please others over your own happiness and freedom is the primary belief and motivation that keeps people from succeeding at achieving their dreams that and a lack of belief in themselves because we have not been trained to follow our own dreams that would make us happy We've been trained to keep our heads down and make sure everyone else around us is happy. We've been trained to believe that we must please others so that we can get what we want, maybe, if we're lucky. We've not been trained to believe in our own awesome, infinite power to create whatever we want in our lives. We've been trained to believe that we are somehow faulty and unworthy and that we need to prove our worth to society and God. We have been trained to believe in in god but not believe in ourselves we've been trained to believe in a faulty education system and a faulty employment system and a faulty religious system and a faulty political system etc 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 but all we really needed was to be taught how to believe in ourselves to thine own self be true young horatio because it is impossible to be true to another It is not our job to please anyone but ourselves because we cannot create another person's reality. We can only create our own realities. So this promise to love, honor, and cherish till death do us part is just complete crap because it is not your job to love, honor, and cherish anyone. It is only your job to love, honor, and cherish yourself. And it is everyone else's job to love, honor, and and cherish themselves so a much better vow would be i promise to do my very best to every day to love honor and cherish my awesome magnificent self and by doing so i will naturally create a vibration around me that will benefit you and maybe help you feel good but it's not my job to make you feel good i vow that my primary focus in life will be to feel good and feel better and by doing so i will create a good feeling positive vibration around me that may benefit you if you decide to allow that and my focus upon feeling good may help you to also be able to keep a similar focus upon you feeling good so with all that in mind i formally decree that it is not ever your job to please me in any way You are not responsible for my happiness. I am. And I am not responsible for your happiness. You are. So let's have fun, shall we? And let's just be happy. Sound good? All right, let's do it. 
So not only should this be your vow for your intimate lovers, but also your friends, your children, your business partners, your co-workers, your teammates, your employees, your parents, siblings, etc. And this will not only ensure the creation of happy, healthy, intimate relationships, but also amazing, fun, cooperative, and extremely profitable business relationships and help you succeed at whatever you want to create in your life and help you make your dreams come true. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please share it with your friends. Please bless them with these amazing teachings. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, please check out my self-empowering articles, books, audios, products, coaching, and support to help you become a conscious, deliberate creator of reality at Zakiron.com. Go get yourself a free copy of my book, video, and audio series, The Top 10 Secrets of Success and the Law of Attraction to easily and quickly create and attract your dreams and desires into your physical reality at Top 10 Secrets dot info and if you'd like to travel the world now rather than waiting until you're old and decrepit at 20 to even 75 percent off how to make some extra money on the side achieve financial freedom and even receive my coaching to help you succeed go to i love freedom dot info lets you and i work and play together let's help yourself uh, yourself and your friends and family and 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 the planet have more fun and freedom in their lives my name is the and i help success Minded entrepreneurs achieve a success mindset to propel your life and your business to unlimited heights of success, to achieve the freedom you desire. Thanks again for watching my video or listening to this podcast, and I wish you immense joy and abundance on your magnificent journey of divine creation, and remember to make life a holiday. Woohoo!